Hello and welcome to the Bike Century. My name's Ben and today I'm really excited to be able to finally tell you that the Lexmoto XDV125 has arrived. Uh, I've been selling the 300 XDV for a little while now. That's proved to be a really successful bike and there's no reason to think that the 125 won't be as good, if not a little bit better. Um, it's pitched by Lexmoto as an adventure styled scooter and I think that's accurate. It's an absolutely crazy looking thing, um, but I really like it. It's quirky, it's different. Um, and exceptionally well priced. Comes in two colours. I think this is probably the nicer of the two, in my opinion. Uh, let me know what you think in the uh, the comments below. But I like the fluoro. Uh, it just adds a little bit of visibility uh, to an otherwise quite um, easy to miss bike in the in the grey. Let's say. I'll try and point out some of the features as we go. Um, I suppose the first question to answer is yes, the uh, the one two five cc bike can be retrofitted with the luggage off of the 300 but no it does not come with it for this price point so starting at the front you've got these kind of all weather um i guess they kind of look like an 80 20 tire but they are very much road bias um just to kind of complete the look of the bike single wavy disc on this side it's a nice touch um and just a single caliper here as well um 90 degree valves that's a nice thing to have on smaller wheels just helps you to get in there and access the valve if you need to pump up your tires as you can see, you've got telescopic forks here. Um, they look quite long travel. They obviously go up really, really quite high. The, uh, the bar position on this, uh, respective to the uh, the ride height, is quite high. So that obviously the forks are pretty long. Um, the bike comes with, I don't know if you can see there, uh, the pre-installation for uh, spotlights. They do come separately, but they will be done by us uh, during the PDI. So that's a really nice little thing that uh, you don't get with a lot of these style bikes. These projector style headlights are really nice. Unfortunately, this bike isn't connected up battery wise. It's just come in. Uh, but you've got these projector style headlights and a little uh, strip LED run light that goes just above them as well. A little bit like you see on Mercedes cars. Uh, front fairing is pretty tall, I have to say. You sit quite deep in the bike, so you're protected from the elements. You can see your legs just gonna be tucked in here. So you've got quite a lot of protection from, um, from the wind up front. Um, and you do also have a height adjustable screen. Now I am 5'10 on a good day, um, and I know from riding the XDV300 that uh, it does create a bit of a vortex, vortex over the top of your head, and so you tend not to get buffeted around too much, which is uh, really good on a scooter like this. Uh, really nice uh, inset LED indicators as well. It's a nice little touch. They're up high, so if you were to drop the bike, uh, you're less likely to damage those. It's got quite a big step uh, in the centre here, obviously, you know, it doesn't really house a great deal, but um, it does make you feel a little bit more incorporated into the bike. You feel like you're part of it. You feel like you're riding a bike rather than riding a, a step through scooter, which I think is a good thing. Um, two foot positions, really, as you can see. So you've got the, uh, the foot plates on the front here and you've got the foot plates underneath. So depending on how you like to ride and how tall you are, uh, you've got the option to uh, to put your feet a little bit further forward without damaging any of the uh, the bodywork or casings or anything like that. Um, the bike is set up to carry a pillion, though I suspect most of the people that will be buying this um, are going to be uh, on L plates. The motor itself is a 125cc single, four stroke, water cooled, uh, and this produces about 12 and a half brake horsepower, uh, and that will propel this bike to about 60, 65 miles an hour comfortably. Um, which again, when you're riding on a CBT is plenty. I suspect a lot of people are gonna use this for dual use, so maybe commuting uh, and a bit of fun at the weekends. Um, and it will definitely tick those boxes, I think. Uh, nice exhaust, which I hope um, will be replaced by something a little bit nicer. Obviously it's a Euro 5 bike, so it's all about emissions, but I'm sure some of the aftermarket exhaust manufacturers will get onto this bike and sort, <coughs> and sort that out for us. <coughs> Excuse me adjustable preload on twin shocks on the back as well <coughs> excuse me so really nice comfortable seat really nice seating position as i said the bars are quite high in respect of the seat so you do tend to sit with your back up straight <coughs> as we come around here you can see it's got uh, keyless ignition so you get two key fobs for the bike that allow you to push down and start the bike without having to pull a key out which is nice you've then got button for your fuel which just opens your fuel flap down here and you've got a button for your seat which just pops the seat up and reveals the uh, the space underneath for you to keep your helmet there's actually quite a generous amount of space under there I will say 
Um, definitely enough to get a, a full size helmet in there, perhaps a little bit more as well. <coughs> Let's go around the other side. So you can see this adjustable screen here. So you've got two little toggles on the side uh, and then you can just slide it up or down, which is really nice. Another nice little feature on the side here, you've got a 12 volt socket. So if you wanted to run a sat nav or a USB charger or something like that, you can do that out the side there. That's a really nice touch. Um, and also, I think, I don't know if they're locked. But yeah, but so you've got a couple of little storage spaces just in here as well. Obviously this is mainly to access the, uh, the, the water, but you could hide a tracker or something in there if you wanted to. Um, yeah, so this side is pretty much the same. Obviously no disc on this side, just a single disc. Uh, you do get side stand and centre stand as you would expect for any kind of motor scooter um, and obviously this side cosmetically is identical. Like I said you do get uh, two key fobs um, as is traditional with Lex Moto. Um, one of the nice things about this is the switch gear is very similar to what I've seen on some Benelli's. So this is illuminated switch gear. That's something you don't tend to get on bikes at this price point. And you've also got adjusters, span adjusters on both the, uh, the brake levers which is really nice as well. Annoyingly, as I've said, it's not actually hooked up to the battery, so I can't show you the dash. You'll just have to take my word for it. It's glorious um, and gives you all the information that you will need. Um, if you actually watch our video on the XD V300, I think that one was connected up to the battery and that will give you a better idea about what you're actually going to be seeing there. Or just check out the website. Uh, and I'm sure Lex Moto have got loads of photos of, uh, of the dash all lit up. But I just wanted to get this out there so people can see the bike is actually available. Um, really, really impressed with it. <coughs> the build quality from Lex Moto just continues to get better and better. And uh, I'm sure this will be every bit as successful as its uh, 300cc bigger brother. So the bikes are available now. Um, we can offer finance and part exchange. And of course we offer things like delivery, etc., etc. So if that's something you're interested in, or if you get any general questions about the bike, please feel free to reach out. We've got WhatsApp, live chat, all the social medias. Pick up the phone and ask us any questions that you've got, or feel free to drop into the showroom and try the bike on for size. That's it from me. Thanks for watching. And I look forward to speaking to you soon. Take care.